Okay, so today we're going to try out webs.com. I've never used this website builder before and um, the first things I'm doing with testing the various website builders, their ease of use, that sort of thing, is to create a slideshow and to create a photo gallery if they are both an option within the website builder. So um, I am going to go to the photos page which when you create a webs.com account it's super simple this is the free account and it took me maybe five minutes to get this far so I chose a theme which I can change over here I know that because they had a nice little walkthrough at the beginning it was very cool and um, now what I'm interested in doing is trying to create a slideshow and seeing if there are things like, you know, if there's a photo gallery and that kind of thing. So this page right here that says photos is one of the pages I I said I wanted in the beginning um, when I was creating the account. So I'm going to go to photos and see what happens. <laughs> Welcome to photo galleries. Click the Add Photos button to create and add photos to your first album. So the Add Photos is right here. And we're going to go ahead and do this. So we're just going to create one photo album. And we're going to um, call this Europe. It's time to create the first album in your gallery. Type in a title and we'll call it Europe 2012 and we're going to upload photos. Okay, I'm going to pause while I navigate to my photos. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've gotten to my photos and I have five photos. So I'm going to try to select them all and see if it'll add them. I don't think these photos have been edited so they should be relatively large. So we'll see here what it does with these photos. Um, it looks like it's just it's on the first photo. I'm going to pause while it finishes this process. Okay, so all five of my photos have successfully uploaded, and that took about four minutes. And, and to do that batch upload, I would advise you that if you're going to do this type of thing with any online software, unless you have a really fast connection, don't do more than maybe 10 at a time. But if you're not sure, only do one or two, see how that goes, and then try grouping it a little bit more the next time. Um, but this went really well, so I'm going to click Submit. And we've got Europe 2012, and um, I can add a description here. Um, let's see here. Okay, and we have more album options, so why don't we look at them? Who can add photos? Um, well, I'm going to say administrators only. Allow comments, so it could be you know you could limit it. it looks like you can have members with this which is really interesting allow comments on photos yes or no place this album in the nav bar um, let me see I'm gonna say no this time and just see what it does and slideshow music I'm certainly not gonna do that and that's the files are all about that photo details and just to spare you I'm going to pause while I put all of that in okay so I've added all of my titles and all of my captions very easy to do that I can choose what I would like to start out with um, and what order I would like to show these in so let's try this shall we like that was our first view so we want that first and then I think that and then um, I think we went there and then since I'm talking about the restaurant and then the view from the restaurant by the water we're going to do it in that order and I'm going to choose this as um, my uh, album cover and it looks like I can move this picture to a different album if I had one so I'm clicking save and um, that was very quick 
So to arrange the order of your photos, drag and drop them where you want. And then let me see. Now I have to figure out. I've got edit album and I've got one of five photos and edit photo details. So I have all this stuff, but the thing is it's not part of the navigation. So what I'm curious about is what um, what I get to do at this point <laughs> as far as adding this to my nav bar. Um, so I'm going to go to photos under more and see if that is part of my navigation bar. And it looks like it is. Um, we will find out when we get started, but uh, then we have, if we want to click this, I don't know if it's going to run. We'll see what it does. And then it looks like I'm just clicking on this to see what it does. Of course, I'm, I am in admin mode here, so I'm not sure if I'm experiencing what the user is going to experience or not. It would be nice, and I don't see it yet. Oh, look, I can add this to the nav bar. I'm going to do that. Page name, Harbor Gallery. Because it asked me if I could do that earlier. Now it's like, well, what if you change your mind? Can you go ahead and do anything about that? And let's see. Oh, and there it is. Okay. Um, and then it says if I want to view it as a slideshow, I can do that. So let's see what that does. Very nice. Okay. So the next question then is... Um, how do we create, I'm going to go back to home, and what if I didn't want a gallery, which I now have, um, I could probably get rid of photos if I wanted to, but what if I wanted to add a slideshow to maybe my sidebar? Double click to add images to the slideshow, so I'm going to do that. And. I've got all of these in here. I'm going to add to the slideshow. I'm going to save changes. Order and captions. So I could control that if I wanted to. Drag to move and delete. All right, that's really nice. Look at that. Okay, so I have demonstrated um, how to um, build a gallery, and I've not just built it. I've there's a photo section here where it looks like if I go to that page on my website, um, I can see perhaps all of my galleries there's one of them. And then if I want just a gallery dedicated to my, you know, or, or just that gallery on a dedicated page, I can do that. And then if I want to, I can also take the photos that I've uploaded and I can add them to this side module on my website as a slideshow. So that's all really, really cool and easy. I have to say, webs, so far, this is really simple to use. And the only thing I'm not really sure about at this point is just if I wanted to preview it, um, how could I do that? But um, other than that, everything else is really really straightforward and um, in the next video I will uh, actually set up my pages and put in text.